Hi, I'm over the OC and Cameron. We back to the channel with another one. Say it ain't so, say it ain't so, say it ain't so. Puerto Rico's lover boy, Mr. Can't Do No Wrong, Mr. Nothing But Hits Himself, Bad Bunny. It has been reported that Bad Bunny throws a fan's phone like Paint Man and back in his prime after she gets in his face and starts trying to record him super close up. Let's react to this video. Let's see what happened. Was he wrong? Was he not wrong? Social media has been trying to kill the boy over this. I'm not going to say he's completely wrong about this. Let's first go through the video before we show any before we explain any more information as i like to give you guys the video to react first before i give you any signs so my information doesn't sway you one way. all right let's see Peyton bunny launch this phone and let's see exactly on why he did it and why he felt it was justified to do it because you know he knew when he was doing this that he was going to get bad publicity bad bunny knows it if they're recording right there in his face he knows there's 10 other phones maybe it was a warning to the future fans don't try to say him bye bunny bye bunny Yo, what's crazy is that you hear that one awkward laugh. <laughs> oh, shit. Right, nobody else is laughing. Let me tone it down. <laughs> Yo, Shorty did get mad annoying, though. Like, all up on his face. I'm gonna tell you guys one thing. I love you guys a lot on this channel, and I try to get you guys the best content. But never would I ever disrespect somebody's personal space once or humiliate myself for looking like that much of a groupie to be rubbing on a man's chest, holding the phone. Like, I have so... I had so Kanye West, maybe. Kanye, and Kanye's bugging today. Definitely not him today. Like, Kanye fuck around and punch you in your head. Not today. I'm not bipolar. I'm not in some kind of episode. But I may be slightly autistic. Like Rain Man. But Kanye probably the only dude that I... Uh, Home and please, home and please follow my girl's arms. Home and love. I, I, I can't even, and maybe not even that, but, but he's probably the only person that I could even see. But again, I just can't picture myself doing something like this. Bro, this is disgusting. Shorty got up in his grizzle, but the craziest part of what was her face. Her face. Like, let's go back and see her shocked face. Look at her face right there. She got the best video. Ah, bitches, I'm with Bad Bunny. Also, how'd you get that close to Bad Bunny? Is he walking from the function out? Is he walking to another party? Is he lit right now? You got to understand the circumstance. Because if this was a concert, I don't think he would react this. It, it looks like he's chilling, turning up, and now you show that you over here on some thought groupie shit. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Oh. Her face. Look at the phone. Look at the phone, bro. Look at the phone. He threw that shit like Patrick Mahomes. You know how Patrick Mahomes does some crazy ass little flip throws, but that shit go 37 yards. Like, yo, how the hell did the phone even go that far? Was he a Puerto Rican Frisbee thrower? Like, nah, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. He could have went back to the Mountain Olympics and represented Puerto Rico in the disc and Greek mythology. Like, this shit is crazy. Let me find out. Bad Bunny got also other hidden talent. <laughs> he launched that shit and then just walked off mad cool. Wow, insane. <laughs> Damn, Bad Bunny's not in the best mood that day. He's like, yo, stay out of my zone, stay out of my space, man. Respect. I'm not gonna lie, one thing I would say bad against Bad Bunny is your security should have stepped up or you should your security should know. If you don't want people all up on you like that, that's some shit that they should have never even allowed to pass through. You get me? A lot of other security guards, as soon as people start bum rushing and hitting, they're already pushing people back. Yo, back up, back up. Maybe because it was girls, they were able to get that much closer. Not sure, but if he wasn't feeling the best, I believe security should have stepped in or at least warned the fans before. And he stopped to talk to them, all right. He stopped to talk to them because somebody yells, somebody yells, even if you did that to us, bro, I still love you. Like, I still love you. You're still the best. It's fine. And that's when he's like, you know what? You start coming back to your senses because you do shit a lot of times out of like rage or quick anger and then you probably felt like a dickhead ass. He does go on Twitter and puts up a tweet, which we will find. <laughs> I hate the bulate. You see somebody, I don't know what that means, but somebody was trying to tell him, like, you see, you teed, you showed it, you did the most. You did the most. Wow, insane. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Bad Bunny is safe? Like it really wasn't his fault on this? 
or you think he's 100% to blame, he teed out, you should never treat your fans that way. I'm not gonna lie, I can see how both parties are a little bit to blame on what stuff went down, all three parties. At the end of the day, bro, when you're a bad bunny, you gotta understand you're a bad bunny. That, that's one thing. I hate to say things like that because he's still a human at the end of the day. He still deserves his rights. He still deserves to be, but it's like, let's get past that. You're one of the biggest celebrities in the entire world. At this point, arguably even probably bigger than Drake on a global scale. Fans see you, people like that see you, they're gonna go crazy. So you should have known, or you should at least spoke to your security. Like that's some shit that they should know. Bunny's not in the mood, which again, it's a human instant. I'm not gonna get in nobody's face. That's the fans fault now. Now we're gonna speak more into her. Like, bro, think about it. If you was, a, I get it, you're happy. This is your favorite celebrity trying to flex on social media and get a whole bunch of likes. Like they won't believe what I'm just walking next to you right now. Now you're viral for the wrong reason. Cause, Cause they launched your phone like a like a wide receiver was supposed to come out and just catch that shit or some shit. Like that was crazy, bro. He hit that shit with a quick fly. That shit just went like, do, 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 do. Crazy. I'm, I'm thinking these celebrities be practicing because I'm a little Uzi just cracked somebody's melon a couple weeks ago throwing a phone or at least a couple months ago in the air. Like, these niggas are practicing on throwing phones. They're professional phone throwers. Before we get out of here, actually, I was about to get out of here. Let's see if we can find the bad bunny. Ooh, and I found a translation. Okay. The person who comes up to me to say hello, to tell me something or just to meet me will always receive my attention and respect. Those who come to put a phone, a phone bastard, Again, you know, you translate things like a damn phone he meant. In my face, I will consider it for what it is. A lack of respect and I was treated likewise. So again, that's what he was talking about. The actions that he did when he threw the phone. What do you guys think? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not mad at Bad Bunny. And it's just hard to be in the position he is. And a person like me that some days I'm the happiest. Caught, like you, you don't know what's going on in his daily life. He's still a human. He still has issues. He still has relationship issues. He still has family things. Like he's still dealing with things in his life. So you don't know if you just caught him on a bad day. And... You never want to treat your supporters that way at the end of the day, but there's we're all human. We're all human. That's one thing that I'm always going to remember, remind everyone we're all human. It's why I don't really learn. I see celebrities on like getting, bro, I saw Brooke Lopez getting groceries at Target with my gang. Like, nah, bro, we, let's not do that. Let's not. The man's getting groceries with his family. He saw us and he got nervous as hell, gave him a quick little salute. Just kept it moving. Like, bro, I'm not going to bother you. It's fine. Keep doing your grocery shopping. I ain't even going to make it hot, even though you're the only freaking giant in here. The dude was walking around 7-1. He had to bend down to get out of Target. I've never seen some shit like that. I was there amazed. Got to respect these people. And like he said, if you would have just came up and talked to me, not put a damn phone, stuck it in my face, like recording, like, come on, bro, that's insane. You're not even saying hello at that point. Like, come on, I'm not Mona Lisa or some shit. You treated me like an object and not a human. But let me know about down below what you guys think. Are you mad at Bad Bunny or do you understand what he did? Like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget we're a giveaway at 4,000 subs of some high movie merch so sub up sub up sub up and if you're a fan of my concerts and want to see some images that I take go check out my Instagram and like I love to say until the next we out here